Welcome to episode 5 of the Animorphs Read Along broadcast. Today we are talking about book 5, The Predator, and it is a Marco book. Holy crap, what a book! Like seriously, there is so much action jam-packed into this little story. So we have Axe deciding that he wants to try and go home, and that way he can tell the Andalites that things are getting critical on Earth and they need to hurry up. And basically a lot of great action follows. Um, there's the scene at the mall where Axe totally loses control of himself in human morph because he's so overwhelmed by the human senses of taste and smell. There's the cops, including some controllers, chasing them out of the mall. Then they morph to lobster. They almost get boiled alive. Then there's the truly horrifying part where they turn into ants in order to sneak back into Chapman's house and steal a Z-Space transponder. Then they get captured, taken to the Yurk mothership, only to be let free because Visser 1 and Visser 3 have some unhealthy political rivalries. Turns out, plot twist, Marco's mom is not dead, she's Visser 1. Oh my gosh, it's like one of the most epic plot twists of the whole book series. Maybe it's because of my deep abiding love for Marco, but this book has so much good material in it. This also has one of my favorite moments when Marco says, I'm not even average height for my age, although I make up for it by being incredibly cute and charming and witty and modest. Oh, Marco. So the sort of emotional anchor of this book is that um, the two-year anniversary of Marco's mom's death is coming up. We've gotten glimpses into Marco's home life in previous books, but this time we sort of go all in and we see just how wrecked his dad really is. And we can see that Marco's frustrated with his dad. He's like, you know, it's not okay for you to just have stopped being my dad. When his mom died, he lost his dad too. I think this book sort of rounds off the early theme of finding a reason to fight. You know, really all of the characters in their individual books have found that reason, and Marco continues to be the most reluctant, and in the middle of this book he actually quits. He's like, you know what? Too many close calls. My dad cannot lose me. For Marco, death isn't an idea or a concept. It's real. He has experienced it firsthand, and so he decides that, you know, enough is enough, and he has to put himself and his family first. That decision has a wrench thrown into it when towards the end of the book Marco discovers that his mother is Visser 1. Now that he knows that his mom is still alive, this gives Marco hope but it also gives him sort of an extra determination to get back in the game. This is the fight for his mom now. This is a way to get her back. There were a lot of unpleasant morphs in this book, like after the joy of dolphins and sort of the funny, lighthearted seagull scenes of the previous book, we're kind of like, yeah, turn it into animals, it's awesome. But this book, we sort of see the, the dark side of that. First they turn into lobsters, just the process sounds really disgusting. There's that amazing scene where Marco, Jake, and Axe are about to be boiled alive as lobsters, and they're like, screw this, we're demorphing because we are not going to die this way. And so they just demorph in this woman's kitchen. They're just like, it's a dream. Don't worry. I love that part. But the really horrific part of this book is when they turn into ants. And, you know, I've read this book probably at least five times, but just reading that part, I was literally like moaning out loud. I was like, oh gosh, it's so horrible. The descriptions of the enemy ants coming in and ripping them to bits. I mean, it truly is the stuff of nightmares. And there's the part later on when like Marco's taking a shower and he finds a little ant head clinging to his body like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have nightmares just from reading about it. The day after they morphed ants, Rachel gets into a fight. <laughs> I love this scene just because Rachel would, like, girl, this ant thing shook them up bad. When you're having these traumatic experiences, it kind of messes you up. But there's also a really sweet scene between Rachel and Marco. Rachel basically says that she really admires how Marco can turn everything into a joke, and that's what keeps him cool and keeps him calm. I always forget that they go to the Yerk mothership in this book because it's just like, what? That seems a little bit preposterous, <laughs> but um, they came really close to losing everything. And I mean, every book they have a close call, but you think this is it, and they have all resigned themselves to die. Marco surprises everyone, I think including himself, when he gives this big speech about like, get knocked down seven times, get up eight, you know, we never give up. Finding out his mom is alive has really given him some strength and some drive. The trip to the mothership is cool, just like on a, a geeky level as well. Like we get to see all these different aliens and they're like, almost like Star Trek-esque outfits with like color coding according to who they serve and there's like the cool space elevator. Like all of that was really cool. This book ends on a very hopeful note. Marco's dad is turning a corner, maybe like making some progress with his grief. Marco's mom is alive. Marco knows it's a long shot, but there's a chance. There's a possibility that he could get his mom back. Overall, a positive contribution to the Anwarf books and 
you know, thank God Marco's still in the fight because imagine how sad it would be if he had really left. Like every time one of the members thinks about leaving, I'm just like, my heart, like you can't leave us because they're all so crucial and wonderful in their own ways. You know, I'm, I'm almost offended that Marco wanted to leave because I'm just like, you can't leave me, Marco. You're crucial. We need you. So those are all my thoughts about book five, The Predator. If you want to keep up with this read-along, subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter. The next book is book number six, The Capture. It's back to Jake. Legal ways to track it down in the description. Book number six is awesome. So I'll see you on Monday.